Well, for the first time ever, Bayern's women have to qualify for the group stages of the UEFA Women's Champions League, and that is what is it all about tonight. The first leg in San Sebastian up against Real Sociedad, the side that finished second in the Primera División last season in Spain. They pose a real challenge in this qualifying round as Bayern look to reach the group stages of the Champions League. Group stages introduced last season, replacing the round of 16. As a result, fans were treated to a series of fixtures between four groups of four teams, and it really did capture the imagination of some fans that maybe hadn't paid as much attention to women's football in the past, and we had record-setting attendances. And tonight promises to be a special night for both sides. And for Bayern after what was a successful pre-season, they kicked off their new campaign with a commanding 7-0 away win in the DFB Pokal against Ingolstadt, the side from Germany's second tier. And then they had their Bundesliga opening fixture in front of a record-breaking crowd of just over 23,000 fans at Frankfurt's Deutsche Bank Park. And unfortunately, the fans not treated to any goals. It ended goalless between Eintracht and Bayern. But now tonight, the focus turns to the continental competition. We take a look at the starting lineup for the home side tonight, the first leg at the Reale Arena. Strong side named keep an eye on the captain El Zagiri out on the left wing of what is an attacking 4-3-3 formation Real Sociedad a side that acquitted themselves well last season finishing second in the Primera División Now a look at Bayern's lineup as well. Marla Grawls made some big saves in that 0-0 draw against Frankfurt. He's expecting a strong opponent tonight. That front three certainly can cause problems. Clara Buhl, Lea Schuller, and Linda Dahlmann. A three-pronged German attack. Three players that certainly caught the eye during Germany's run to the final of the European Championships in the summer. Women's football in Germany and women's football in general looking to build off the momentum generated from the hype in that tournament. It was a fantastic summer spectacle for the women's game as well. Well, Germany's women did ultimately fall short in the final. Bayern do have a European champion in their ranks in the form of Georgia Stanway, a marquee summer signing from Manchester City's women's team. He will be remembered for scoring a stunning long-range winner against Spain in the quarterfinals. Did feature almost the full 90 minutes of the final against Germany. Now looking to make her mark with Bayern, who are working under new head coach Alexander Strauss. He's talking about looking forward to this game against the Spaniards. He said Real Sociedad are a strong team. They finished second in Spain last season and it will pose a good challenge for Bayern. He said it will be an interesting game. He reckons they have a good chance of qualifying and he says his team are optimistic about their chances. And perhaps despite the bit of a stutter start in the Bundesliga, 
against Eintracht Frankfurt. They're looking to make a more positive start to their Champions League campaign. Side that reached the quarterfinals last season, ultimately falling short against the eventual winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Promises to be quite a special evening in San Sebastián. A couple thousand in attendance. See which of these two sides can take a significant step towards reaching the Champions League group stages. Look there at Bayern's new head coach, Alexander Strauss. 46-year-old Norwegian, he joined from the Norwegian champions, Sandviken, SK Bran. That was after he led them to their first title in the club's history in 2021. Looking to bring his title-winning talents now to Munich, as we see his counterpart there, Natalia Arroyo. Hoping her side can prove how far they've come in this meeting with Bayern. But it is the home side Real Sociedad who get us underway. Bayern for the first time in club history having to qualify for the group stages of the UEFA Women's Champions League. The qualifying round pitting them against the side that finished second in the Primera División last season in Spain. Bayern expecting a real challenge against the Spaniards. They look to put their place in the group stages for a second season running, of course, last season. Made it into the group stages by way of winning the Frauen Bundesliga. This time around, after finishing second to Wolfsburg last season, having to play their way into the Champions League group stages. This is the 13th edition of the Women's Champions League since its rebranding. It's 22nd all-time. The fact is the women's game is growing at a rapid rate. Or great progress shown last season. That was then built on with the European Championships in England. early touches of the ball for Marla Gross, the Bayern keeper. Said before the game that she was expecting a strong opponent. Felt that they were, Real Sociedad were going to be very brave. Want to control possession, which is what we're seeing in the opening exchanges here, but Bayern trying to reply the press with that three-pronged front line backed up. by the midfield unit as well, and all in behind. Francie against Kumagai, and Kumagai did well to win the ball and get in front of her opponent. Or in the early foul, but defensive awareness and positioning there. from the Japanese centre-back. A good flick on, and they were willing runners for Bayern. Nice touch from Jensen.
Bayern happy to push their back line high up to the halfway line. Well won back by the visitors. Now look to enjoy a spell of possession of their own, having allowed Real Sociedad the lion's share of the ball in the first few minutes. And looking for the vertical passes, they had to be patient now, starting to go through the gears. Real Sociedad with players back, but a loose pass there. Dahlman was first to it. Bit of a clip of the ankles, but play goes on here. Lawman on the overlap. Two in the middle to aim for. In an early corner here for Bayern. First probe forward for visitors, brings about the first set piece of the game. Referee wants a word, given the fact that a couple of women are tangling inside the area. It was very congested in that six yard box, clearly a tactic for Bayern from the corner. Doesn't produce the desired result, but a chance to put the ball back in the mix now. A lofted delivery, not dealt with. And the only chance there for Clara Boo is blocked. But here come Bayern once again. A lovely clip over for Leah Schuller. She is the danger woman for Bayern up front. She leads the line. Certainly no slouch in the air, but she had gone beyond the final woman. She, Leah Schuller, certainly the player that Real Sociedad will want to keep as quiet as possible. Forty-three games and 32 goals before tonight for Leah Schuller, who joined from SKS Essen back in 2020. Bit of a risk taken at the back there by Groth. She said that Real Sociedad were going to be brave. I think it's fair to say that she was brave in that moment in terms of hanging on to the ball. She kept her composure. Tainara forced out wide. And Julia Gvinnen support. And I'm back with the goalkeeper Groth. Yeah, Schuller as ever, the first line of defence, and she's backed up well here. Gavin involved and now the ball with Darman. He gets her heels clipped and this a free kick in a promising position for Bayern. Sociedad complaining about the decision, but I don't think they can really have any complaints about that one. It's quite blatant in the end from a nice heel as a result. First yellow card of the game dished out. Captain Vigor Dostia looking and indicating where she wants the ball put, but it's a direct effort on goal in the end from 
Simon. Certainly had Letipara a little worried in the Real Sociedad goal. The stanchion behind the goal for Letipara. But having seen Real Sociedad have the majority of the ball in the opening exchanges, their patient approach not really producing much end product for Natalia Arroyo's side. Iron, when they are on the ball, a lot more purposeful, a lot more threatening, a lot more pace in their game. And right now, Real Sociedad are having to try and raise their levels. And Seguire with a nice ball out wide, and now the vertical pass looking for Jensen. Well dealt with in the end by Kumagai again. Iron's back line looking sharp and that's a nice little pass out wide to Gwyn. Looking for the one-two. Then it's actually Schuller that takes over. Looking in tight spaces out wide. Alexandra Strauss when he joined in the summer said that his preferred style of play is for his side to be dominant wants them to control the pace of the game when they have possession of the ball and always play with great bravery when going forward and getting into the final third There were elements of that in the 0-0 draw against Eintracht Frankfurt, but the performance certainly left what they call in Germany Luft nach oben, which is air above, essentially meaning that there is room for improvement. Nevertheless, Strauss, who just took over in the summer, bringing in a new approach and a, a new style of play, one that Bayern and him hope will produce titles. We see Georgia Stanway, her first real involvement of the game just after 10 minutes is to commit a foul in midfield. Certainly wasn't the worst foul to concede considering the fact that Real Sociedad's captain, Isagiro, was looking to shift through the gears. Danway, who is still acclimatising to life in Germany with her new side. Big signing for Bayern. Really sent a statement of intent after that second place finish for Wolfsburg last season. In the talented young Englishwoman, but now a chance for Sociedad from the free kick. Gobbled up in the end by Gross. And trying to play their way out from the back, but oftentimes being pressed into the long ball with Gross forced into more of a clearance than a pass out from the back. Same could be said now of Tainara, but that's actually going to work out well here for Bayern. Nice little touch in midfield. Tara Bull, who now finds Stanway. Lovely crossfield ball and an early delivery as well that looked dangerous. Tara had to come off her line and snuff out that danger. The intent there from Caro Simon was clear to see. She talked before the game about how important these two games against Real Sociedad are and said their importance certainly not lost on her and her teammates. But they're really keen to play in the Champions League. We've got a taste of how close maybe they came to causing a real upset in the Champions League against the eventual winners, Paris Saint Germain.
would claim that Bayern over the course of their two legs against the French champions gave them a better run for their money than eventual finalists Barcelona who took the competition by storm with their impressive style of tiki-taka play and Wolfsburg certainly fell victim to that themselves in the Champions League Paris Saint-Germain had the answer Bayern though almost had the answer for Paris Saint-Germain German side suffered a 2-1 loss on home soil as the Allianz Arena opened its doors to the women's side. Wonderful occasion, one that we hope to see recreated at some point or many points ultimately this season. The second leg of this tie will be played on Bayern's campus. Being the home ground for the women's team. Nevertheless, should they enjoy a run like they did last season in the Champions League? Should they qualify for the group stages? Something tells me that the Allianz Arena will indeed open its doors once again. Bit of a wry smile there on the faces of some of the Bayern players. Some of the niggly decisions that are going against them in the opening stages here. Another long ball. Leah Schuller almost made it work with Buhl ready to pounce. What was a two-on-two -two situation? That really does describe the way this game is going so far. Just over a quarter of an hour played in San Sebastian and Bayern looking a lot more threatening when they do get on the ball. Sociedad trying to have more of the possession but Bayern not necessarily always allowing them to. The difference is that when Bayern get on the ball they move it forward at a much faster pace and it's something that the new head coach Alexander Strauss has talked about. He wants his side to dictate the pace of proceedings. Tonight they are doing that. When they're on the ball they are pushing the pace, but they are also allowing Real Sociedad to play at a slower tempo when out of position. At that point, Bayern are picking and choosing their moments to try and pounce on the press. We see a moment there as Bu wins the ball well in midfield. Real Sociedad, to their credit, are trying to put Bayern's players under pressure. A lovely little nutmeg there. Through the legs of the Real Sociedad captain and the ball now through to Grin. Darman ahead. And Darman still going, looking for the 1 2 in the end with Caro Simon. It's a little too intricate for Bayern, but the intention was clear. Happy to work the ball in tight spaces and try and play their way through this Real Sociedad side. They did finish as runners-up in Spain last season, but that was a whopping 24 points behind Barcelona, six points ahead of Real Madrid. looking for the run of Poyak and she just can't keep it in play but everything got very compact there in midfield it was the first time that Sociedad really had managed to force Bayern all into their own half the side Natalia Arroyo on the sidelines and 
clearly issuing some instructions to her players there. And that's a unconvincing ball out from the back, but Linda Darman scrapping away to win it back for Bayern. And oh, if that ball had had a little more angle on it, well, then Julia Gvin would have been racing into a very dangerous position for Bayern once again. Fort Fleet for Real Sociedad. German centre back. Mariana Specht in the right place at the right time to intercept. Warner, through ball works the channels and the end well dealt with by Bayern's captain, Claudius Vigolz to it. Here come the home side once again, though, an extended spell of pressure. Bayern not able to quite find the release just yet with their counter-attacking style of play, but <laughs> here they go again with a long vertical pass. Lea Schuller does well to collect. Can't quite work it into a goal-scoring opportunity. there down by the byline clearance great back to Bayern well, they're trying to work the channels aren't they Alexandra Strauss's side and they're not quite producing that final pass as of yet but now they continue to probe that Real Sociedad back line to Bayern belief there that the final pass will be produced over the course of the game at some point after all this aside that certainly knew how to find the back of the net last season 78 goals scored in the Frauen Bundesliga over course of the season only Wolfsburg the eventual champions scored more Bayern only suffering three losses all season domestically two of those against Wolfsburg not to mention the DFB Pokal semi-final defeat to the She-Wolves well won by Sociedad and Jensen was the target. Certainly putting herself at the surface of the team with her movement off the ball. Drifting into wide positions at times as well to try and drag that Bayern back line into a position where Real Sociedad can maybe capitalise. It's all down well. Bernabe and now with Piada. That's a lovely ball for Segura. You can see what she was trying to do, working it to Franci. The Real Sociedad, a bit like Bayern, not quite finding that final pass. Admittedly, they're breaking into the final third a little less regularly than the visitors, but they are having more of the ball so far.
Would have taken short and, and thought they'd dealt with the danger. And strong block. The shot from range. Believe her. And ball's been given. Fine with another set piece to defend after repelling the Real Sociedad corner. Now I'm certainly raised there. I believe it was Tara Boul tried to close down the delivery. Isagiri. Captain trying to step up to the mark. The side go in search of the opening goal. Didn't quite have the dip or the whip it really needed. just to try and shield the run in behind. Capitalising on some poor positioning from Real Sociedad's back line there. After what was a bumpy start in the Bundesliga, it was Germany international Linda Dahlmann looking back on that goalless draw with Eintracht Frankfurt, who said the Bayern knew they couldn't produce those types of performances in the Champions League. I think they've certainly raised their game so far here today in San Sebastian as we see Leah Schuller again providing cause for concern in amongst that Real Sociedad backline. The movement on and off the ball really exemplary at times and he was one of the Germany internationals that caught the imagination of a new generation of female players in Germany with their exploits in the summer for now Bayern working something from the corner it was a lovely strike in the end from Georgia Stanway and well as she proved at the European Championships in the summer, as England went on to win the tournament on home soil, she's more than capable of producing those types of strikes from range. Incredibly technically gifted young midfielder. Stanaway, just 23 years of age. Ready 42 appearances for the England women's national team. 30 goals in 94 appearances for Manchester City's women's side before joining Bayern in the summer. for Real Sociedad and brilliant play in the end by the Gosto Tio who was in the right place at the right time to intercept the cross from Yasagiri 
That's certainly the most threatening moment Real Sociedad have produced. It hasn't been of Bayern's own making, actually, because there was a moment where goalkeeper Gross held onto the ball a little too long, but now they're in behind again here. The Spaniards with the offside flag is up to stop Francie in her tracks. And now we're seeing those probing runs being made by Real Sociedad. I have to say, Kumagai there held the line really well and she had eyes on Francie the whole time to make sure that the situation was at the very least covered. Cross goes long and, oh, that could work really well in the end and it is going to Linda Darman one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Linda Darman, oh, it's off the post. Well, everyone got bunched up in midfield for just a second. And Gross, for once, produced a thumping clearance from the back and, in the end, almost, provided the assist for Linda Darman to open the scoring here tonight. Oh, that's a lovely dummy from Quinn. One of the stars of the show for Germany in the summer. Combining here with Stanway. Enemies in Wembley. The teammates now this season. Gwyn and Georgia Stanway. Fortunately, the chance for Bayern peters out. And that's the closest we've come to the opening goal. And one vertical pass. Linda Darman timing the run well from the halfway line. Becht may be dropping just a little deeper compared to some of her teammates there and that allowed Dahlman to race through. A few warnings served at both ends of the pitch in the opening half an hour. Here in San Sebastian in Spain, a mild evening. But things heating up here now and Bayern looking to carve out another chance. keeping the chance alive oh that surely is offside indeed Hul and Quinn not quite working in tandem there frustrating mistake for Bayern to make challenge in midfield that one not quite as clean Darman winning the ball well and while Bayern wanted to take the free kick quickly I don't think they've been allowed to in the end as we hear a chorus of whistles and a couple of thousand fans in attendance at the Mayale Arena Darman that was a clean challenge you have to say in midfield Garcia Segura Rather went through the back of the Germany international. As a result, she is now the second Real Sociedad midfielder to go into the referee's book, along with Amais Giel. Combative approach from Sociedad in the heart of the park. And now Segura, well, she has to be careful because she can't make that challenge. And Leah Schuller's in behind here for Bayern. But the pass just had a little bit too much on it in the end. And as a result, Para able to collect because Simon had broken in behind, she had Schuller to her right. Wasn't quite ready to try and commit to the run there with the keeper rushing out towards her. Gura fitting into a pocket of space out wide in behind Simon. Bit of space behind the wing back and what can she produce now with the cross? Oh, it's a wonderful delivery. 
Backed by Isagiri. Heavily involved the Real Sociedad captain in their most promising moments. However, from that cross, he was going to have to do an awful lot with the header. Not just turn it on target, but to beat Marla Gross in the Bayern goal. I should say, she's known as Marla Gross, the Bayern goalkeeper, the young 21-year-old German. Her name is Maria Luisa, and that is why they go by Marla. For Maria, the la for Luisa. There you have it. That's how simple footballing nicknames can be sometimes. Fair to say, though, the opening to this game for both teams has been anything but simple. Bit of a conundrum being posed by this Real Sociedad side for Bayern. Well, that's a lovely ball to break the lines, though, out from the back. Kumagai releasing the Bayern counter now with Darman. And look at the numbers forward here in red. Georgia Stanway. Oh, it's a lovely ball, and Leah should have just needed to get a touch. Unfortunately, unable to provide it just 10 minutes before half time. Bayern, though, are getting ever closer to that opening goal. Linda Darman has struck the woodwork, and now Leah Schuller goes with and he studs with oh, of getting on the end of Georgia Stanway's cross lovely build up play from Bayern it deserved to end in the opening goal a big big scare there survived by Real Sociedad and I tell you the Bayern head coach Alexander Strauss will be enjoying the, the momentum that his side are generating as we approach half-time. The disappointment may be if they don't get that opening goal before the break, be that the fact that the break will ultimately hamper that momentum a little bit. Do need to be wary though because Sociedad are looking dangerous themselves as well. A little nutmeg there on Kumagai. Hint of a handball as well, but half-hearted appeals. And Panara will loft that one clear and away from danger. Anabe with the throw-in. Lovely play by Isagiri. Looking for a teammate. Caro Simon taking no chances there at the back. Or would you in a situation like this? But see there some pictures of the home support as well. Wonderful numbers have turned out here in San Sebastian for this Champions League qualifying tie. Oh, lovely delivery, and that looked like it could have been the opening goal. The deadlock, though, remains intact as Segura fires wide. Now, after just talking about the momentum that Bayern are generating, this the closest that the hosts have gone. Just needed a clean strike. Bernabe with the trickery out wide. Just didn't wrap her foot around the ball enough, did Segura. But now here come Bayern with Stanway. An early riposte, a quick riposte. Darman into the middle of Stanway. First touch, a little loose, but she gets the chance and blocked in the end. All of a sudden, I won't say that the opening to this game was timid because both sides did have chances, but both teams right now really forcing the issue in the final third as we approach half time. They want. The deadlock broken before the break. Anara there. Pressing high up the pitch, but now is out of position for Bayern's back line. The visitors were a little bit stretched there, but the pass from Real Sociedad allowed them to recover the situation.
It's not quite the record-breaking figures that we saw in Frankfurt on the opening weekend of the Bundesliga as Bayern and the Eagles played out a 0-0 draw. Not quite the record-breaking figures we saw at New Camp last season either. Nevertheless, the home support tonight making themselves heard as they look to try and inspire their side to win against their German counterparts. These sides both finished second in their domestic leagues last season. Nice idea there from Bayern, but the ball was never going to stay in play and had it, and Tejada certainly had it covered. Real confidence being shown on the ball from the home side as well. Bayern holding their shape and remaining disciplined. Darman there just making her presence felt. And those are the types of moments where Bayern sometimes probe the press, but they don't necessarily force the issue too much and draw themselves out of position. Danway almost cut out the pass there. Bayern once again dropping a little bit deeper now. Press not quite as intense as it was at the start of the half, and understandably so, as be a strong challenge in midfield there involving Segura again. She is on a yellow card, but I don't think that tackle on Simon quite warranted a second booking because it was a 50 50. A nice little pass around the corner, just a little. Heavy, and as a result, Lorman can't quite get there. A guy sweeping up and snapping up the loose ball, though, Stanway. Turn was neat, the vision was good, but I don't think Julia Quinn was quite anticipating that pass. Ball to my heels there, as we see Alexander Strauss. Understandable that there's a few teething problems at the start of his tenure Again, Real Sociedad working the ball well, and but just for a second there, looked like for the first time tonight they might have worked the ball in behind to great effect. However, again, the angle on the pass a little too straight and narrow, and as a result, all the way through to Gross, the Bayern goal. Bayern's now direct approach has seen them set up camp in the final third once again. Linda Darman. Cutting inside, oh, she thought about the one-two, but it comes all the way through in the end. But Leah Schuller, she put her foot through the ball. The effort straight at Para. Let's take a look at this again. It was a lovely little dummy from Clara Buhl. Again, that three-pronged German attack working to great effect for Bayern. Leah Schuller, I have to say, you'd have put a fair bit of money on her scoring from that type of position given the time and space she had in the Real Sociedad box to 
try and pick her spot. However, maybe just warming up for what's to come in the second half. with another chance now and oh, I'll tell you this time she makes no mistake and on the cusp of half time Bayern have broken the deadlock the opening goal going the way of the visitors and they've had to be patient in this first half but their dynamism and endeavour in the final third finally pays off <laughs> and their fans tonight in San Sebastian might be in the minority but something to cheer about here and really a goal that is all about the strengths of Leah Schuller just breaking off the shoulder of the last defender Clara Bühlher German international teammate she saw the run provided the pass and Schuller one-on-one -on -one with the keeper this time making no mistake and you felt that there was an opening goal in the air before half time we were wondering whether it might just run out of time in the first 45 minutes but Bayern with a goal that will change the half time team talk for Alexander Strauss but ultimately it will change his team talk for the better you'd think one minute of time added on at the end of this first half. And at 0-0, you would have said that Real Sociedad certainly would have been the happier of the two teams. Bayern had the better chances and more of the chances as well. We saw Linda Dahlman strike the woodwork. Leah Schuller with a handful of half chances as well before she opened the scoring. And it does see... Bayern take a narrow advantage in at the break in the first leg of this Champions League group stage qualifier against Real Sociedad, Leah Schuller. The danger woman for Bayern at all times. Sociedad kept her quiet for much of the first half, but two chances right before half-time. One saved, one converted. Bayern have the advantage going in at the break. Join us again for the second half. It's Real Sociedad nil. Bayern won. clubs and Bayern is definitely one of the biggest clubs in the world and I, I really respect and I'm really humbled to come here but I also think that I have something to, to bring to the table also when I come here. Yes it was a big decision because I was in a project back home that we had started and it was a, it's a really really good uh, environment and a lot of the players that have, we have grown together and to leave them was never easy but then again it's Bayern München it's, it was always going to be like this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Intensive Einheiten hier. Ähm, sehr, sehr guter Eindruck, sehr sympathisch. Ähm, er hat wirklich einen Plan und eine Ahnung von dem, was er machen möchte, von seinem Konzept. Und er ist sehr anspruchsvoll, ähm, will gerade die ganze Mannschaft einfach mitnehmen in seine Überlegungen. Und das ist, glaube ich, sehr, sehr gut, dass wir einfach uns selbst einfach jeden Tag fordern und fordern und ähm, ja, einfach so die beste Version aus unserer Mannschaft machen. Im Trainingslager wird aber nicht nur der Körper vorbereitet. Auch der Kopf wird entlastet. Am Strand einfach mal die Seele baumeln lassen. Das Teamevent an der Adria ist vor allem für die Nationalspielerinnen ein gefühlter Tag mehr Urlaub. Personell ist es nur ein kleiner Umbruch. Der Kern der Mannschaft ist geblieben. Neue Qualität und neue Persönlichkeiten sind dazugekommen. Mit Tainara spielt erstmals eine brasilianische Spielerin beim FC Bayern. Die Französin Emmeline Laurent rennt so schnell die Linie hoch und runter, dass kaum Zeit bleibt, ihren vollen Namen zu rufen. Sie wird einfach nur M genannt. You know, when you're in the beach, you just to to have the information really quickly so it for that it's, it's uh, my, surname, my surname like um, it's short and you can give me the information directly after und was interessiert eine engländerin in italien natürlich das gute wetter hallo ich heiße georgia und aus ich komme oh no, what is it? hallo ich heiße georgia ich komme aus England und das Wetter ist gut. Der Neuzugang von Man City ist ein Mentalitätsmonster. Auch dank ihrer Power feierten die englischen Fußballfrauen den großen Triumph im eigenen Land. Wir haben ein bisschen ein Lachen darüber, ein bisschen Spaß darüber. Aber nein, die Mädels haben so respektvoll und das ist das gleiche für mich. Ich fühle mich, dass wir das Mutual von Fußball mit Fußball haben. Und ja, die deutschen Mädels haben super. Georgia ist sicherlich ein Glücksfang für uns und äh, sie wird sich ähm, unglaublich gut in diese Mannschaft einfügen. Sie ist ein sehr offener Typ äh, und ist auch, äh, wird sicherlich in der Kabine den einen oder anderen zum Lachen bringen. Und äh, ja, sie ist eine tolle Persönlichkeit und sie macht extrem viel Spaß. 
Vor allem beim traditionellen Mannschaftssingen. Zugang Emily Braxtad aus Norwegen ist mit ihren erst 20 Jahren geboren für die große Bühne. Am Ende des Trainingslagers wartet noch ein Highlight. Das Testspiel gegen den italienischen Erstligisten Sassuolo Calcio. Nach intensiven Trainingseinheiten wird das Team heute erstmals in einem Spiel gemeinsam auf dem Platz stehen. Das Wetter will aber erstmal nicht mitspielen. Es gewittert. Der Anpfiff wird um eine Dreiviertelstunde verschoben. Wie agiert Alexander Strauß an der Seitenlinie? Wir haben den Norweger verkabelt und sind so nah dran an der Coachingzone wie noch nie. Lena, like I said to the other girls inside, just remember to find the right distance so you don't get uh, on the same line as, uh, as uh, Lea, but also drop in between and get the right distance to Sadi and to, to, uh, to Georgia, okay? So we can play you the shorter distance, okay? Push the line. Good job, girls. Wait, wait, don't go too early. Saki needs to come. We need to shift together. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. No, the good drop up on the outside. But on the side from the So, Bob, back. Then, Konten, before I could just stay in there. You can't stay fantastic attack. I feel like I'm on an attempt can put pressure on the center backs. Yeah. Because we said we wait if they have yeah. it in the box, yeah. but then we're in between. But that's when the fullbacks are high. Now low, low, when yeah. they are quite high. Yeah. Oh my God, what a goal. Okay, that's my chance for goal. They do a lot of rotations out on the side, then you need to have your winger in front just to drop, just drop, so you don't get uh, caught with two against one, okay? Great first game. Eh? Front? Good. Well done. Front? Good. Alina! Oh, go, go! Nice! Oh, 
There's so many chances we need to create this. Yep, yep, yep. No. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good. <laughs> you enjoy? Yeah, of course. Fantastic. That's uh, already in the first, first or second game. The, the picture perfect of how we want the movements to do. Things happen at the same time. The speed on the ball, we penetrate lines, and we take the extra pass before we put it into the goal. Beautiful. Well, well done. Well, good. In Italien ist mit den Neuzugängen eine Einheit zusammengewachsen. Die neue Saison kann kommen. Und dieses Team macht jetzt schon sehr großen Spaß. Hello and welcome back to coverage of this UEFA Women's Champions League qualification. First leg tie between Real Sociedad, the runners-up in the Spanish top tier last season, taking on the runners-up in the German top tier in Bayern München. And it is the visiting side, Bayern, team that the quarterfinals last season who have a one goal lead as we come into the second half a very engaging first 45 minutes of action in Spain Dosidad the home side enjoying the greater share of possession but a much more patient approach being produced by the hosts tonight and as a result they have had chances but their chances not as good as those created by Bayern and also not as plentiful either both sides feeling each other out in the opening half an hour and then the game really did open up in the final 15 minutes of that first half as you see the players back out on the pitch ready for the second. Linda Dahlman who struck the post for Bayern with the first real clear cut chance of the game. Lea Schuller almost got on the end of a Georgia Stanway cross and then she had two chances in quick succession at the end of the first half. The first was shot straight at Real Sociedad's keeper, Lete Para. The second, though, a wonderful move and a wonderful pass from Clara Boul to split Real Sociedad's back line and find the run of Lea Schuller. She finished with a plum into the bottom corner and it is her goal that separates the sides so far in San Sebastian tonight. Well, after taking the lead right on the stroke of half-time, Bayern will look to assert their dominance even more in the second half as they look to take a greater advantage back to Munich with them in just over a week's time in what is a UEFA Women's Champions League group stage qualifier. Bayern having to qualify for the group stages for the first time in club history. Taking on the side that finished second in the top tier of Spanish women's football last season, Real Sociedad. They finished second to Barcelona. Bayern's players, many of them talking about their desire to once again feature in the Champions League group stages again this season. It's all about making a positive start in their Champions League campaign in this first leg against Real Sociedad. And so far, so good. But nevertheless, there have been a few scares they have had to survive at the back. Most notable coming from... Gabi Garcia Segura 
in Real Sociedad's midfield. It is worth noting that Sociedad have made a change at half-time as Andrea Jacinto coming on to replace Iris. A nice heel who was one of the two Real Sociedad players who picked up a booking in the first half. The other being Gabby, who had that clear-cut chance shortly before Bayern took the lead through Lea Schuller. It was Bayern head coach Alexander Strauss who took over in the summer from Jens Scheuer after the disappointment of getting knocked out of the DFB Pokal against Wolfsburg the disappointment of finishing second to Wolfsburg in the Frauen Bundesliga. The disappointment ultimately of getting knocked out of the Champions League by Paris Saint-Germain, though there was no reason to be ashamed of that result. And actually, those two games against the French record champions can be a great source of pride for Bayern. However, for now, they've got a bit of early defending to do. As, well, it was half cross, half shot in the end by Francie. Maybe trying to catch cross out in the Bayern goal in the end getting the angles all wrong on the cross and it's behind for a goal kick <laughs> saw Natalia Arroyo there the Real Sociedad head coach has made that one change but you wonder what her message will have been to her players at half time because you have to say coming up against Bayern they've acquitted themselves well some proficient passing some nice phases of possession it's the end product though that we're missing it took them about 35 minutes to produce their first shot on goal coming from their captain Isagire that chance coming before the effort that I mentioned just a few moments ago from Gabby but those were really the only two times that the home side really caused Bayern any problems in the final third as we see Francie there. Black for offside, a very easy decision for the assistant referee on this near touchline. That's a nice ball in behind from the home side. And well, that was confident play in the end from Gross. Francie, the intended target, and she was not far away from having enough pace to beat Gross to the ball there. Gross patient and just waiting for the ball to cross into her penalty area before picking up the ball. Playing with fire a little bit, it's fair to say there at the back where Bayern and there goalkeeper the risk taking perhaps comes easy to someone 21 years of age in Maria Luisa Gross Gross who made some really strong saves against Frankfurt last time out in the Bundesliga opener in that goalless draw certainly a result that Read some disappointment, but now Leah Schuller with a chance to make it two. Oh, she was looking for Linda Dahlman in the middle, and it was the right thing to do. It was all a little bit difficult. Excuse me, Julia Quinn. I'm not sure Leah Schuller really could have necessarily gone for goal there because the goalkeeper got caught in two moans. She lifted it over into the danger area, and Quinn was in the right position to capitalise just didn't have the touch to do so. Difficult one on the bounce as well. She had two bites at the apple. Neither quite produced the mouthful she was looking for. Would have been 
Perfect start to this second half for Bayern and Alexander Strauss. So having taken the lead just before half-time, they will want to press the issue and add to their advantage. Look at the Bayern substitutes getting warmed up and potentially ready to enter the fray in this second half as a little one-two in midfield doesn't quite work out. Again, great defensive play by Bayern midfielder Sydney Lawman. 22 years of age, but she uses performances that rely her young age. Great composure and incredible physical presence in midfield as well. And like many in this Bayern side, no shortage of confidence either for Sydney Lawman. Chance here though now for Jensen and a deflection on it. Or not actually, it's behind for a goal kick, so was no touch on the ball on Jensen's shot, but that's the first sight of goal that Real Sociedad striker has had in a Jensen. Norwegian international. Kumagai put under pressure at the back, but she finds the outlet pass. Unfortunately, the touch from Bull just let her down there. Lawman and in the foul in midfield for Bayern, one of seven Bayern players who are in the Germany squad that reached the final of the European Championships in England in the summer. Marina Hegering has since moved on to join Brown Bundesliga champions Wolfsburg, a player that Bayern certainly didn't want to lose. Nevertheless, they were also well represented by Julia Gwynn. Linda Dahlman, Sydney Lohmann, Lina Margul, Clara Buhl and Leah Schuller. Margul, top goal scorer. Amongst the Bayern contingent with three goals, only outscored in the tournament by Alexandra Pop. At least when it came to the German side, I think there were a couple of other players that outscored her in that tournament as well. Clara Buhl and Leah Schuller also got a goal apiece during the competition. And now Francie trying to make something happen. One-on-one on one with Japanese international Kumagai. Certainly gave her pause for concern, but now a chance for Clara Poole, and it wasn't collected comfortably at the first attempt by Para. Nevertheless, it wasn't the best effort we've seen from Clara Boot. Someone who has proven he is capable of producing even better from that type of range. Not a bad attempt on goal, though. Boot, as I mentioned, one of the seven Bayern players in Germany's European Championship squads. Also, one of three who were named in the team of the tournament, Julia Gwynn, Harabul and Hegering, who, as I, as I mentioned, has gone on to join Wolfsburg. Here, Schuller. One of the first names on the Bayern team sheet. Now, I think by her standard, she might be the first to admit that, despite the success of the German national team, she probably... Could have had a few more goals to her name in that tournament had she taken her chances better. 
Tonight, though, it is her goal that separates the sides so far in Spain. Zagire put under pressure. Bayern do come away with it. Roger Stanway felt it was a clean challenge, but Zagire and her appeals to the referee are not in vain. In fairness, you see there, George Stano, he had a good chunk of the shirt up against Isagire. Well, Stanway's kit will be one of the ones that the Sociedad players will be looking to swap for after the game. Those swaps will have to wait until after the final whistle. For Bayern, this is the first time in club history that they're having to qualify for the group stages of the Women's Champions League last season. Four wins, one draw, one loss in a group that pitted them against the likes of Benfica, Dion. Dion, who finished top of that group. Bayern finishing in second, and as a result, that's what pitted them against Paris Saint-Germain in the quarterfinals. Lovely improvised cross there from Caro Simon. Linda Darman looking to make something happen. Triller in the middle, ready to pounce. And Real Sociedad survived the scare once again as Para pushes clear with Julie Gwynn. Ready to try provide the finishing touches there after Leah Schuller's shot didn't quite manage to do so. Lovely turn by Lawman. Now Clara Buhl. Again it's straight at Para. You can see the frustration there growing for Clara Buhl. She expects better of herself as well. Handful of chances. Buhl, who did score Bayern's seventh in the 7-0 win against Ingolstadt, the second tier side in the second round of the DFB Pokal. Alexander Strauss there. You wouldn't necessarily know his side were one nil up based on the way he's strutting on the sidelines. Maybe a little frustrations creeping in for the Bayern head coach as well that his side haven't rewarded themselves for their endeavour and their positivity in this second half. They haven't rewarded themselves with that second goal just yet. Nevertheless, Sociedad, I think it's fair to say the opening half an hour of the first half really did have a bigger foot in the game. They were making a bigger impact on proceedings. Bayern in this second half, their quality is starting to show. They haven't seen much in terms of an attacking threat from the home side. Meanwhile, every time ball is at the beat of someone in a red shirt there's action there's pace there's determination there's dynamism there is ultimately a little bit more ambition to make something happen going forward Quinn went lunging in there on Bernabe Real Sociedad left back who set up the best chance for her side her cross picking out Gabby who dragged her effort just wide of the target in the first half. That chance when the score was still at nil-nil as well. Now some Real Sociedad players getting warmed up in earnest as we cross the hour mark. Bayern will be disappointed not to have added a second goal based on the chances they've carved out in this second half. Now they have to defend the set piece. They were looking to work it into a deeper position there, Real Sociedad, but Bayern able to telegraph their intent and risky back pass. Had it been short, might have caused problems, but Boyak put enough on the back pass. does look like we're now going to see those changes and Bayern have got one ready as well and the luxury that they can bring a player like Lina Margul off the bench Bayern did open her account in that win 
against Ingolstadt. Was the fourth goal scorer on a day where seven goals were scored by seven different women for Bayern. Linda Darman, the player to make way, she'll be disappointed not to have scored herself tonight. She came closest earliest for Bayern when she struck the post just past the half hour mark. But now Francie making way for Real Sociedad, replaced by Amir. Bernabe also making way. Be replaced by Aguili. Can the fresh legs maybe have the desired impact for Real Sociedad? That's lovely play by Gabby in midfield to bring the ball under a spell. Move breaks down initially, but now kept alive. Of panic defending at the back there from Bayern, something we haven't seen too often from Kumagai, Vigostotia, and Tainara tonight. challenge in the box and it was a matter of fine margins but I get away with it but now though Amir is certainly making a big impact off the bench the number seven for Real Sociedad very lively very energetic and the press applied by Real Sociedad at 1-0 they sense an opportunity to maybe here to cause a bit of an upset against last season's quarter-finalist Bayern. The question is, can they capitalise on the fact that Bayern haven't converted a second? Gabby, again, a touch to evade. A marker there in the lawman. Bull comes away with it now and feeds Schuller. Schuller drifted out wide. Bayern wants them more in central positions. As a result, they are short of numbers where they need them. Georgia Stanway scrapping away in midfield, but it is a gear that comes away with it. And Bayern outnumbered at the back. Oh, it's deflected and off the bar. Well, I'm not sure that Gross got a touch on it. I think it did take a touch from Big Ostertier. But a real shock to the system there for Bayern from the Real Sociedad captain, Isagire. Corner taken quickly. Worked short as well. Gabby with the eventual effort that was blocked from close range. Sociedad growing in confidence now as we've passed the hour mark. Bit of a slow start to this second half from the home side. But now, starting to come alive after the changes made by Natalia Arroyo. Bayern have been warned by these advances over the last couple of minutes and they need to heed that warning as well. As Emir and the Julie fresh legs off the bench in this second half, along with the half-time substitute Andrea Giacinto. The 
belief that Bayern looked to be snuffing out of their posts and ice at the start of the second half is starting to grow now amongst the Real Sociedad players once again. Love to see as well, we didn't see the replay as to whether Maria Luisa Gross actually got a touch on that effort to tip it onto the bar or whether it was out of her reach and fortunate not to dip under the woodwork. Kara Simon, the left wing back for Bayern, talked about her team and teammates needing to give 100% to reach the group stages. It's 100% for the full 90 minutes. And right now, this is a very promising spell of play for Real Sociedad. And Bayern need to be wary. They look to avoid conceding an equaliser that would give Real Sociedad something to play for in the second leg, the return match, which will take place on the 29th of September, so next Thursday. That game will be played on the Bayern campus at Sieben at Strasse. Bayern, the only German women's team to be playing in this second qualifying round. That after Eintracht Frankfurt were eliminated in the first round. Oh, that's a nice pass into feet. Twist and a turn from Jensen. And well, she really has so had so little to work with tonight to try and create something of her own there. And certainly had Bayern's backline guessing. Mentioned the fact that Eintracht Frankfurt knocked out in the first round of qualifying. Wolfsburg, of course, as the Brown Bundesliga champions and ultimately the double winners from last season. They will be seeded for the group stages, so they have already booked their place. The group stages will start on the 19th of October in the Women's Champions League. Really was an incredible showcase of how far women's football has come in Europe on the domestic scene the success of the Champions League last season bolstered then by the hype created and driven forward ultimately by the European Championships in England in the summer and now there is a real sense of optimism that the women's game is in a position to start flourishing and growing at an even more rapid rate the quality on show tonight from both sides. Certainly of Champions League level, no doubt about it. Real Sociedad 1-0 down, but certainly still very much in this game and looking to create here. And again, it's the captain, Isagire, posing the threat and a chance to shoot. She's got the Bayern defenders on strings. And I couldn't exactly tell, but I think she may have struck the bar there. Either that, it was a cross that ultimately had a little bit too much on it. And difficult to tell whether she went for goal there or tried to find a teammate. But the longer that Bayern allow this pressure from Real Sociedad to build, the more under threat their narrow one-goal lead comes and Natalia Oroyo now the more frustrated of the two head coaches that her side aren't converting the goal scoring opportunities that they're carving out that was something that we were leveling as a criticism at Bayern earlier in this game and earlier in this second half and also that may come back to haunt Bayern fighting that Real Sociedad can actually convert one of the chances they're creating so far though they are being kept at bay just. A combination of the woodwork at the Reale Arena and Marla Gross in goal. Her 
clearance, not exactly where she would have wanted to put it. And Haro Seaman, under pressure, puts it out for a throw in. Alexander Strauss talking about wanting his side to win the ball back from opponents as quickly as possible. Georgia Stanway has certainly not shied away in that department this evening. Uh, she is penalised though for a foul on this occasion. Chance for maybe Real Sociedad to get the ball into the box. It was a scrappy little head-to-head -head there. Set pieces were an area where Bayern did look a little vulnerable at times last season and they'll be happy to see that one all the way through to Gross. Comfortably and happily collects that. That the wonderful double save. I tell you what, there were fingertips on it as well from Gross to tip that onto the word work. Stunning, stunning save from the young Bayern goalkeeper, but two big saves at both ends of the pitch there. Could have had another two goals in this second half were it not for Gross and Para. Para denying Schuller and then just getting a hand to the ball there with Grin ready to pounce. Important head to the ball there from Kumagai. Poyak. Now with Gabby, who's drifted out wide. Gabby and Isagiri, definitely the two biggest threats that Real Sociedad have posed out on the pitch tonight against Bayern. Well, the right idea from Georgia Stanway there, looking for the early run of the only goal scorer of the night, Lea Schuller. It's not quite the right timing and not quite on the same wavelength there as her teammates. And those are the types of things that Georgia Stanway, so fresh to this Bayern side, will ultimately become accustomed to over the course of time. That's a lovely ball in behind. Aguirre looking to make something happen. And she has made something happen. Earning a corner for her side with just over a quarter of an hour remaining in this UEFA Women's Champions League round two qualifying first leg tie. Normally wait until after the corner to make the substitution, but Bayern are not going to wait. And as a result, Caro Simon coming off to be replaced. Maximiliana Rahl on in her place as the corner now comes in from Isagiri and a disappointing delivery in the end as we see Caro Simon there heading towards the bench. Her job done for this evening. Thoughts about the fact that her teammates are keen to once again feature in the Champions League and ultimately prove themselves at the highest level of the women's game in Europe. She felt positive about her side's chances and as things stand right now, the positive feelings are justified. And you do feel with just under a quarter of an hour remaining in the game now that there is another goal left in this. Either you feel like Real Sociedad are somehow going to break this Bayern side down with their persistent play in the final third as another chance comes to nothing ultimately well dealt with by Bigostatia. I'll tell you, 
Here, Sariegi certainly has been a bright spark since coming off the bench for Real Sociedad. Now their fifth corner of the game. One of the few departments in which they are ahead of Bayern. What a bad delivery met by the head of a Sociedad player. And well then, in the end, poor and wasteful from Gabby. A bit more composure needed in that situation and she puts up an apologetic hand. was Bayern head coach Alexander Strauss who said he felt like this game against Real Sociedad was going to be a much different encounter to their opening fixture in the Bundesliga, that 0-0 draw against Eintracht Frankfurt. I think it's fair to say he has been proven correct on many counts, not just the fact that Bayern have been able to score tonight. Leo Schuller with the only goal of the game so far, coming just on the stroke of half-time. Well, in fact, his, his side have certainly been more engaged. They've been more dynamic in their performance tonight than they were against Eintracht Frankfurt. First booking of the game for a Bayern player. With his substitute, Ina Margul. Goes into the referee's book. She can test all she likes, but I have to say there wasn't much in it. A reminder that the return leg of this qualifying tie will be played on the 29th of September next Thursday at the Bayern campus in Munich. As things stand, Bayern will be taking a narrow advantage back home with them tonight. Lovely play out wide by Raal. Oh, the ball was on, but cut out by Gabby. Stanway winning out in the middle of the park. Raul now once again played into a pressure-filled situation. Work now to Clara Boo. Can she slip it through? She does indeed find Raul, but... Oh, she just lost her footing at the vital moment and couldn't quite stick out the toe needed at the vital moment. Still the chance alive and well. Sydney Lawman's shot almost actually. Turned into a nice through ball to Raul, but she wasn't quite ready for it. And we just see... Losing her footing at the vital moment, Maximiliana Raul. A rare foray forward for Alexander Strauss's side in the last... 15 minutes or so, it's very much been one-way traffic with Real Sociedad building up all the pressure by and trying to find the release, not necessarily having much success in that department. That run from Raul. A rarity and not a common occurrence. Just wonder whether Bayern will be happy with a 1-0 lead going into that second leg, especially 
given the fact that the away goal rule has been abolished. So the goal here on foreign soil comes with no added bonus or advantage. And a result as well tonight that will be a signal of intent and definitely the way they would have wanted to bounce back from that disappointing goalless draw against Eintracht Frankfurt on the opening day. The two sides in the Frauen Bundesliga that finished second and third last season. So Eintracht Frankfurt, no slouches in their own regard. Bayern on foreign soil coming away with at least a point. It could have been less. Right now, though, they are on course to walk away with a victory tonight. Also, Alexander Strauss having just joined in the summer from Norwegian champions. Sandviken, TF and SK Brann. They're leading them to their first ever title. At least he's going to have a 100% record here in the Champions League as Bayern head coach. Start as you mean to go on, that's what they always say. And on their way to that historic first championship win, Sandviken Brann won 17 of their 18 games, a national record. They went unbeaten throughout the whole course of the season. The only other game that they didn't win ended up in a draw. Damjanovic now coming on to replace Clara Buhl. A bit like Linda Dahlman, who was brought off earlier in the second half. She will be disappointed not to have got her name on the score sheet. She certainly had the chances to do it, the German international. 14 goals in 29 appearances for Germany's national team, Clara Buhl. applied by Damjanovic. The outlet pass was on but not produced in the end. As a result, it's another concession of possession from Bayern that plays straight into that pressure being built by San... or Real Sociedad, excuse me. They're trying to make it count, all of a sudden they're risking it as well at 1-0, why not? They're throwing numbers forward, trying to make life difficult for Bayern. A bit more composure needed from young goalkeeper Gross. Because right now, pretty taxing experience for these Bayern players who are chasing shadows more often than not because Real Sociedad as they've proven throughout this game, very comfortable on the ball and shifting it about with their passing game. We just haven't seen enough end product for them, really, to warrant them getting on the score sheet. They have come close on at least two occasions. Isagire hitting the woodwork in the second half after a wonderful save from Gross, and that coming after a first-half chance was spurned by Gabby. There's a chance perhaps for Jensen, a hint of a handball, and indeed the decision goes against them. Oh, the pass behind Raul, but she does really well to collect it. Oh, agonising. Agonising for Bayern. Brilliant play from Maximiliana Rahl because somehow she took that ball into her stride when it looked like it wasn't possible. And again, having done so well to collect it, she had the composure to try and lift it over the keeper. It was half cross, half shot. She'd have happily seen it spin into the back of the net. But unfortunately, that second goal for Bayern, much like the first goal, Hard come by. But they were patient with the first goal. They scored on right on the cusp of half time with Leah Schiller. Maybe the second goal will be scored right on the cusp of full time. You never know. Leah Schiller is out on the pitch. She could make it her second, though she has shifted 
into a more defensive wing position since the changes made with Damjanovic now leading the line for Bayern. But again, Bayern being a lot more reactive than proactive now as they look to defend this one goal lead. That is their priority right now. Pull out for a Bayern throw. Ina Margul just feeling the effects of that coming together out on the wing. Stretching for it and it does look like it's the Real Sociedad player that maybe just steps on the ankle there. Certainly not a nice feeling for anyone that's ever experienced it out on a football pitch. With a few minutes remaining, I think it'll take more than that to get Lina Margul off this pitch. And yellow card shown to Saki Kumagai, the 31-year-old. Has had to use a lot of her experience to marshal certain situations at the bank, but you have to say she's done very well. And in some respects, that was an experienced foul there from Kumagai. Promising moment perhaps brewing there for Real Sociedad, and she stops it in her track. But as you can see there by the fouls, Bayern have not shied away from getting stuck in tonight and making their presence felt when needed. I think it's fair to say against Real Sociedad. Certainly hasn't been their go-to tactic. Right now you can see the priority is defending this lead. Damjanovic the only player forward. It's a bank of five at the back and four in midfield. Stanway, Margul, Lohmann, Schuller. Well, that's a dangerous delivery. Oh, that was the chance, surely, for Real Sociedad. A wonderful cross right into that danger area between backline and goalkeeper. And Amir, if she was on the stretch, he had to have a leap at it, and as a result, didn't quite have the control on the effort that she needed to truly test Gross. But you feel, with just over a minute remaining of normal time, we wait to see how much time is added on, but you feel like that might be the last big chance for Real Sociedad to take at least a draw with them back to Munich when they travel there next week. I have to say, you feel like the fans at the very least have deserved a goal because they've been magnificent tonight. They've made their voices heard. They've created quite an atmosphere in the Reale Arena. Just haven't had anything really to cheer about. They've come close on occasion. Latest chance going to Aguirre, who is now under severe pressure and does well to win the foul. Bin and Margul are paying close attention to her. Will Bayern have to survive at the end of the 90 here? Can't really blame them for trying to defend the one goal lead either. It's a precious advantage that they can take home back to the Bayern campus with them as we see it's three minutes of time added on at the Reale Arena. Bayern will want to keep it in the Real Sociedad half for as many of those three minutes as possible, but something tells me most of the three minutes are going to be spent in Bayern's half. They have battened down the hatches, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, bit of a clash of heads, very physical challenge in the air there against Kumagai, but she picks herself up quickly. Bayern, with the throw-in, can take a few more precious seconds off the clock as they look to manage the dying minutes here in San Sebastián, Spain. A battle of domestic runners-up from last season. 
El Sociedad finishing behind Barcelona. Bayern finishing behind Wolfsburg. Bayern, though, tonight looking to come out on top as Georgia Stanway does with that challenge inside, deep inside her own half, and then has the well, composure to beat her man. The pass has invited a little bit more pressure here for Bayern, but Gwyn does well to alleviate it with a goal kick. Is there one last chance in this game for either side? I did say I felt that there was a second goal in this game. It might have been Bayern's to take had they been more proficient in transition with Real Sociedad really throwing numbers forward. However, I think it's fair to say there's only one real chance on the counter-attack from Raal. Raul Sosidad wanted to foul, they don't get it. Early vertical pass looking for Damjanovic, but Raul Sosidad needed at the other end of the pitch. Seconds now ticking away for the end of the three minutes of added time. Stanway does well to stop them in their tracks only momentarily. Nice bit of inventive skill from out wide, and I'll tell you what, what a cross that was. It just needed a touch. There was no one there to provide it. Bayern survive the final scare and they walk away with a precious victory in the first leg of their Women's Champions League group stage qualifier against Real Sociedad. Lea Schuller opens her account in the Champions League for the season, scoring the only goal of the game right on the stroke of half time. You have to say Real Sociedad gave a great account of themselves. They certainly had the chances to level the scores in the second half, in particular, given the much improved performance from them after the break. Natalia Arroyo certainly found the right words at half time to try and inspire her side to get back into this game. They had the chances, Bayern had to survive some scares. A wonderful save from Maria Luisa Gross tipped their best effort onto the bar. In the end, it is that goal from Leah Schuller that separates the sides, though. Advantage Bayern in the Champions League qualifiers. They take a 1-0 lead back to the Bayern campus in just over a week's time. Thank you for joining us tonight. It was wonderful to bring you coverage of this Champions League tie. Starting off for now, join us again next week.